Donc, oui, tu le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is in session. Reprise de l'audience. And I now hand over the floor to the international court prosecutor to put more questions to this witness. You may proceed. Sir, I heard your last response, but it didn't answer my question. So please try to listen to the questions. If you don't understand them, let me know. But just answer the questions so that we can proceed more quickly and finish your testimony. My question was about when you joined the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Can you tell us about that? Already that déjà dit after the coup d'état in 1970, I could not move anywhere, and I went to live in the uh, hometown of my wife. After that, the Democratic Kampuchea asked me to be part of the front in Tramka district. The front was different from the district committee. Members of the front roles was to mobilize people to be part of the democratic Kampuchea. What's your relationship with Tamok? Question, quelle était votre relation avec Tamok? Answer. At that time, I had no contact with Tamok. But I was the brother-in-law of Tamok. I was the younger brother-in-law of Tamok. Thank you. So you are married to Tamok's younger sister, correct? Question. Donc vous étiez marié à la frère, à la sœur de Tamok, c'est exact? Now, when, when you joined the front, were you asked to join? Lorsque vous avez rejoint. President, uh, witness uh, has not responded to your your last question, Mr. International Co-Prosecutor. The question is. Did you get married with the uh, with Tamok's uh, younger sister, Mr. Witness? Please respond to that question. Answer: I got married with Tamok's younger sister in 1966, and I, at that time, I did not know Tamok. I never saw him physically, and uh, in my marriage ceremony, uh, he was not in attendance. Sir, I'm not asking you about your marriage in 1966. I'm asking you about the period after the Lon Nol coup, after 1970. Did you join the party? Being Tamok's brother-in-law, being in the zone, as you have explained, controlled by the Khmer Rouge, did you join the party? Answer. I already stated clearly that a democratic Cambodia assigned me to be member of the front. I was not admitted into the party. Uh, I was part of the front in 1970 after the coup d'état. And after that period, I was removed by Tassi to Peace Mountain. When I returned from um, Peace Mountain, I had a malaria for a month. 
and I received a written letter uh, signed by C to assign me and designate the other tasks, as I stated. Sir, very quickly, Ta C that you've mentioned, he was the deputy of Ta Mok, who later became the chairman of the West Zone. Isn't that correct? That Ta C later became the chairman of the West Zone. West. Est-ce donc vrai que Tacite est par la suite devenu chef de la zone ouest? Answer. I did Réponse. not know Je about this. Pas. I was at uh, Takao province and I did not know about this. De Takeo et je was Tassi the deputy Question. of Tamok at that time? Est-ce que Tassi était l'adjoint de Tamok à l'époque? Answer. Réponse. What did you mean by at that time? Que vous what dire uh, was the period exactly in your exactement. question? After I received the Après written letter from Tassi, la lettre de Tassi, during the time that I was I received the letter from Tassi, I uh, did not know his official position, Tassi, but he was in the southwest zone. Was Tassi, to your knowledge, ever the deputy of Tamo? Yes or no, Mr. Witness? Mr. President. Mr. President. President, uh, please hold on, Mr. Witness. You may proceed, uh, counsel, uh, for Mr. Nguyen Chia. Um, just to remind the bench, if I were to ask questions like this to a witness, I would have been objected to already five times. Uh, this is obviously a repetitive question. He does it like the answer to the international co prosecutor. So uh, I object on the same grounds as uh, other. In respect of other objections, this is a repetitive question. So, so my, 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 my argument actually would be to use the same. Uh, rulings or to uh, express the same rulings to the prosecution as to the defense. Sur, uh, Your Honor, if the witness has answered the defense, question, I'd be curious which answer counsel believes he has given, because he has not. He's evaded the question. He hasn't il, uh, answered it. Contourne la question. Il n'a pas encore répondu à ma question. Ce n'est donc pas répétitif. President, the objection of the defense team is overruled. Mr. Witness, you are instructed to respond to the last question put by international co-prosecutor. And uh, Mr. W uh, witness, uh, please repeat your question. To your knowledge, was Tassi ever the deputy of Tamok? Est-ce que Tassi, à votre connaissance, a été adjoint de Tamok ou non? Answer: I did not know. You mentioned another name. Some bit when you're talking about receiving instructions to receive foreign guests. At the time that you received that instruction from Some bit, he was the deputy of the Southwest Zone, deputy to Tamok, correct? Answer. I uh, gave my answer Mais je vous ai already. Déjà. I received instructions from Taron, and Taron. I just knew that Sambat was in the Et southwest Sambat zone. Était dans la zone I did not know whether savais. Sambat uh, was si the Sambat deputy or was the uh, chair of the southwest zone. I only knew that he was in the southwest zone. Well, Mr. Witness, there are many, many thousands or hundreds of thousands of people in the southwest zone. When you mentioned Run, you then mentioned Sambit. 
vous avez ensuite Is that because you knew that Run was the sector chairman and his boss, he would have reported to the Southwest Zone Committee? Is that what you knew? Is that correct? À son supérieur hiérarchique qui était le comité de la zone sud-ouest. Answer. The sector reported to zone from what I knew. In all of the work that you did, the assignments that you were given during the Khmer Rouge period, did you believe or did they tell you that you did a good job, that you did what they wanted you to do? Answer. Réponse. I performed my assignment based on what they told me. I was told Je to work in uh, the work site. I was asked to uh, build dams and dig the canals. So I uh, followed their uh, assignment. Did they ever complain bah, about how fait. you Accusation. performed your duties? Did you get any complaint from Tamok or any Khmer Rouge DK official? Y a-t-il eu jamais des plaintes à votre rencontre de la part de Tamok ou tout autre cadre responsable ou responsable du Campuchéa démocratique? Answer. I Réponse. was never complained by those people. Ces gens ne se sont jamais plaints de moi. And is it true that in 1995, I believe you told the OCIJ, the Khmer Rouge called you back to sum out to perform some other duties. Is that correct? Rappelez pour que vous meniez bien d'autres tâches. President, please hold on, Mr. Witness, counsel for Mr. Kirsenpon, you may proceed. Counsel, thank you, Mr. President. I would like to request the uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor to present the document which he referred to. Thank you. I'll do that and come back to that in just a moment. Sir, um, Tom Mook, you said in one of your previous answers you had never seen him. I don't think you meant that you never in your life saw him. So can you explain during the Khmer Rouge, the DK period in 1975 to 1979, were you in contact with Tamok? Answer. From 1975 to 1979, I met him, but so what I said earlier was in the period, was during the marriage ceremony of mine, and I did not meet him at that time, and from 1975 to 1979, I met him in the southwest zone. And your honors, if in the witness's statement E319.1.15, that would be his first statement, I believe, at answer 102. Mr. Witness, at answer 102 in your statement, your first statement to OCIJ the first day, you said you were asked you are now living in Sam Luc. Do you hold any position in any party or in the civil service? You answered, no, the Khmer Rouge called me to Saint-Lau in 1995, and I was assigned to take charge of education. Is that correct? Mr. 
Matra. Answer, yes, that is correct. Who exactly called you to go take charge of education there? Who appelé pour que vous vous occupiez de l'éducation? Qui vous a appelé? Answer, I did not recall. Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. Who did you report to? Who was your boss there? À qui faisiez-vous rapport? Qui était votre supérieur hiérarchique? I think my don't like President, please hold on. Mr. Witness, uh, you may proceed. Uh, Council of Gongsamon. Council, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I would like to object to this question because it is beyond uh, the uh, trial. Uh, because uh, the question relates to the period in 1996. Your Honor, the relevance of the question is simply, I certainly don't want to cover the events of 1995. Uh, it relates to this witness having been a loyal member of the Khmer Rouge and the inference that he performed when he performed his duties in Tram Kok, he did so in accordance with the policies of the party because they continued to employ him and give him assignments. President, the objection of counsel for Mr. Q. Sampon uh, is sustained because the question is uh, beyond the facts in our trial. I would like to remind uh, the International Court Prosecutor to focus your question on the, the temporal jurisdiction of uh, the tribunal, particularly concerned the Krangachan Security Office. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, in that same interview, you were asked, that's 319.115, in your fourth answer, you said to the investigators, I would like you to consider that I was a teacher, one, and two, all of my relatives were 17 April people. Would Pol Pot dare assign me to do anything? And I'd like you to explain that. Why does the fact that you were a teacher mean that it would be unlikely for Pol Pot or the Khmer Rouge to assign you to anything? Yom sum so when a kaka either looked her kaka witness. Could you clarify your question, please? Well, Mr. Witness, if you look at your answer in 319.1.15, that's your interview, the first one on the 28th of January, and the beginning of the interview and the fourth answer you gave, I'll read you the question and your answer. The question the investigators asked you was, you said that you were living in the Pol Pot zone after the 1970 coup. Did you join the Pol Pot movement before 1970? You answered no because I was unable to flee. I had to live in the Pol Pot zone. My mother, older brother, younger sister, and all my other younger siblings were living in Phnom Penh. I was living alone here. I would like you to consider that, one, I was a teacher, 
And two, all of my relatives were 17 April people. Would Pol Pot dare assign me to do anything? So I'd like you to explain. Why was the fact that you were a teacher mean that the Khmer Rouge would not give you assignments? Answer. Let me clarify. I was a teacher at that time. And Democratic Cambodia categorized me as a petty bourgeoisie. My relatives, my younger sister, my blood brothers, and their spouses lived in Phnom Penh. And they were evacuated on 17 April 1975. And I was assigned only to work in the work site to dig canal and to build dams. That were the assignment and that I received. Uh, so I was asked to help uh, the task in Koh uh, On Diet and also in Tram Kok District. So I was again I was asked to uh, help in the work site. Mr. Witness, is what you're saying? I understand. I heard your answer. I read what you told the investigators. Are you saying that the Khmer Rouge would not trust teachers and would distrust people because their relatives had come from Phnom Penh, even if they themselves were living in Khmer Rouge zones? Answer. I refer only to my personal matters, and as I said, I was a teacher, and my siblings uh, were evacuated from Phnom Penh. So, Mr. Witness, is that was that a policy of the Khmer Rouge, or is this something that only applied to you, that they didn't trust teachers and they didn't trust people whose relatives had been living in Phnom Penh? Answer. I did not know Réponse. about such a policy, uh, but uh, what I stated, and Moi, I, I was only knew that I uh, was uh, to be, a, uh, you know, taken, taking care of myself. Mr. Witness, you lived in the Khmer Rouge period in the southwest zone, is this correct? All the way from 1975 to 1979, is that true? Answer. I live in the southwest zone from 1975 to 1979. And, sir, are you aware of policies by the Khmer Rouge to discriminate against what they called April 17 people, even to discriminate against relatives of April 17 people? Contre les membres de la famille faisant partie des gens du 17 avril. Answer. I am not aware of it. Mr. Witness, let's talk about your brother-in-law, Tamo. Can you tell us what kind of person he was, in your view? Answer. Answer. I knew and met him not quite often. To me, he was a loyal person. He was not only care. He did not only care of uh, his family. 
de sa famille. I mean that uh, he never, you know, put his interests uh, in front of others, and il, uh, he never appointed his uh, uh, prader relatives to any position. Il, uh, pas nommé and uh, to me, he was kind to people. Élevé, et il était gentil envers les gens, à mon avis. Mr. Witness, you're saying he was loyal to those below him, and was he also loyal to those above him? Did he follow the party and DK policies, or was he an ambitious person out to gain power? Answer, he was not ambitious. Réponse, il n'était pas ambitieux. Now, I believe I heard you just say he did not appoint relatives to positions. I'd like you to think about that and tell me, is that your position, that Tom Mok did not appoint his relatives to positions? Poste important. Est-ce donc ce que vous affirmez, qu'il n'a nommé personne parmi les membres de sa famille au poste important? He did not, as you know, appoint his relatives to any high position. And as you, we élevé. may be aware, uh, Tamok did not savez, Tamok designate any task on, or did not appoint any position by himself because there were superiors above him. To your knowledge, Tamok always followed the orders of his superiors. Is that what you're saying? Vous affirmez qu'il suivait les ordres de ses supérieurs hiérarchiques, n'est-ce pas? Some Lord answer. I did not know. Je n'en savais rien. Concerning the question you asked, Mr. Witness, I would like to read to you a bit from a book that a scholar of the Khmer Rouge period has written, Ben Kiernan. And that's E3-1593 at Khmer, the ERNs are 00637488-290, at English 00678-538-539, and at French 00638-821-24. Now this scholar wrote, Mok carefully placed a network of family members in various important positions in his zone. These included two brothers-in-law, four sons, two daughters, and five sons-in-law. They were all promoted through the ranks, most after serving time in Tamok's home district, Tramcock, known as District 105 of Region 13. Mr. Witness, where was Tamok's home village? Monsieur le témoin, où était le village natal de Tamok? Le foyer de Tamok. His home village was in Tropeang Thom Commune, Tramcock District. And the, the author goes on to say that Mok's son-in-law, Ki Mut, became the Deputy Secretary of Region 13 and in 1973 rose to become Secretary of the 3rd Southwest Division. He says that Mok's daughter, Kong, replaced Mut as CPK Secretary of Tram Kok. Another daughter, Ho, became director of the Region 13 Hospital. And he goes on to say, so, sorry, two sons, Cham and Chai, Two sons, Cham and Chai, also served on the Tramcock CPK District Committee, and a brother-in-law, San, a former school teacher, was a leading CPK official. 
A second brother-in-law, Tit, was CPK secretary of Kiribong, District 109. Is all this true? Answer. As for Réponse. what you read, uh, some is true and some is not true. Tamok did not have any sons. Uh, he had only daughters. Il que des and Mut was the member of uh, sector 13 in the 60s. 13 dans les années 60. And he became uh, the soldier in the zone in 1973, perhaps in 1973. That's what I knew. Thank you. So do you agree then that a brother-in-law, San, a former ski school teacher, was a leading CPK official? Actually, he did not have any son to be a, a head of school. Maybe that must be my pronunciation. I'm saying son, as in your name, your alias. It says a second bro a brother-in-law. San, a former school teacher, was a leading CPK official. Is that true? Were you a leading CPK official? Alors, la question que je vous pose est la suivante. Étiez-vous dirigeant, faisiez-vous partie des dirigeants du PCK? No, he was not an... I was not an important cadre. Non, I was an assistant to the district in the field of building dams, digging canals, and working in the rice fields. And that was from 1975 to late 1978. Les, Sir, how did the Khmer Rouge during the DK period treat moral offenses, mistreatment, Comment sexual mistreatment of women. I did not know. Were you accused of moral offenses? Avez-vous été accusé d'inconduite morale? When Tamok was Réponse. in Takeo, he called me from Kohandaid to Tramkot district. And he told me that I had been reported that I was playful or mysterious with my hands. And for that reason, he transferred me through land assistance uh, through those in uh, Tramkot. In, uh, and in the field of beating dams, digging canals, or working in rice fields in order to refashion myself. So, let me understand, you were accused of sexual misconduct with women. You never were interrogated about that. You never were detained. Is that correct? Tamok said that I Réponse. was accused of uh, being mysterious with my hands. He didn't tell me exactly uh, what the allegation mains, was. And for that reason, he transferred me from Kohandaid to Tramkok. Did you understand that statement that you were accused of having mischievous hands to mean you had had affairs with women? I 
I never involved in any uh, sexual uh, intercourse or relationship with any woman, eu, but I was alleged of uh, doing that. Femmes, mais de le faire. And for that reason, Tamok said uh, Tamok that I was accused of uh, being mysterious uh, with my hand. So, Mr. Witness, you received no punishment, is that correct? Accusation. Vous n'avez donc pas été sanctionné de quelque façon que ce soit. For me, I thought that uh, the fact that I was uh, transferred from Kohandai to work in a tram to assist those people in tram it means that I was just uh, removed from my uh, working position in uh, Kohandai and transferred to another working position in a tram court. It was in the same case uh, as I was uh, removed by Tassi from uh, being a member of the front uh, to be in charge of the education that is to teach uh, alphabets to the children in the three provinces. Well, let me follow up on that a bit. What did you, what were you accused of or what did you do wrong to cause this transfer by Tassi? You said it was the same as when you were transferred by Tassi. Were you also accused of moral offenses? No, there was no such allegation. No. In, in, in my... In my uh, thought, I did not commit any wrongdoing and I was simply uh, transferred. Well, let's go back for a moment since you brought it up to the transfer by Tassi, or the letter that Tassi gave you, appointing you the head of education for three provinces. That made you the head of education for the entire southwest zone, correct? I uh, did not know, but I was uh, given responsibility for the education from the uh, three provinces. But in fact, I did not uh, engage in that work because upon returning from Peace Mountain to my village, I became ill. Well, sir, there's quite a long time between 1970 and 1975. It's five years. What were you doing during those five years? You said you were ill. When you weren't ill, what were you doing? Did you ask me some repetitive questions because I really responded to that. As I said, in 1971, Tassam sent me to Kohandai district. And in fact, I was ill for six months. And after I recovered, that's when Tassam transferred me to Kohandai. Sir, the organization of DK was at each level commune, sector, zone, there was a committee of three persons. That was the normal organizational structure, correct? In uh, some areas, uh, there were two members, and in others, uh, there were three, so it varied. Who was in the committee at Coandite? Question. Et qui était le comité à Coandite? When you were there. Lorsque vous y étiez. Who was on the committee? Qui était membre du comité? Tassim was the secretary, and then there was a Tachan. There were only two. 
Il n'était que deux. Who is Tachan? Question, qui est Tachan? Tachan? Réponse. Tachan passed away. What's the need of asking about the Tachan? Vous voulez peut-être parler de Tachan? You're saying he's, he passed away. Question, vous me dites qu'il est décédé. My question was simply, who was he? Moi, je vous demandais simplement qui il était. Do you know anything else about him you can tell us? Est-ce que vous pourriez nous dire quelque chose à son sujet? Tachan was Tassin's deputy. Tachan était l'adjoint de Tassin. Now, in the work that you did, you said you had some work growing rice. Were you planting the rice? What actually did you do? Que faisiez-vous exactement? Est-ce que c'est vous qui repiquiez le riz? In 1975, Réponse. en 1975, that is after the war uh, ended, après la fin de la guerre, Tamok had a plan to build a dam at the Ankobore uh, Lake, and I participated in the raising of that dam. J'ai participé à la construction de ce barrage. Tam, tam, cool. And all forces were sent from the surrounding communes to, to build that dam. And after that, I engaged in dry season farming at that dam and uh, surrounding the area of that lake. And subsequently, I was asked to clear a plot of land near Kohan Bad and to rest dice for dry season rice farming de la du riz and to build another uh, dam at Bangko and a uh, water uh, pump station in that area as well. So that's uh, basically the works that I engaged in uh, during uh, that period. Voilà. Sir, what was your role in that work? Were you doing the physical labor? Were you the supervisor, supervising the laborers? Were you in charge of security? What was your role? I was not in charge Réponse. of uh, security. Je ne I was pas an assistant sécurité. to the district, and I district. was tasked to see how the work was progressed in terms of uh, building uh, the dike or the dam, or bigger canal. De la des My work was purely technical, for instance, in relation to the building en fait, of the water pump station. We'll explain that. Were you in charge of the workers? Did you give them instructions? Mobile units Réponse. were under the supervision of their respective unit chiefs. And we did not give them any instruction, but uh, whenever there was a work planned, we consulted amongst uh, one another. And you, when you say we, who do you mean? You and the other members of the district committee? I use the word Réponse. we, Je dis nous, I mean I myself and the uh, mobile en fait, unit chiefs or the youth mobile chefs, unit chiefs. We held de, uh, meetings to discuss de about the work plan and, and what, did, uh, what we had to do. And this does not mean I faire. gave them instructions, but we consulted uh, respectively in terms of uh, the work plan. So who was in charge? 
No one? Question, savez-vous qui était en charge Personne I gather you did not get the question. I'll repeat it. You said that you would consult with the leaders of the mobile units. My question is, who then was in charge? Are you saying no one was in charge? Who was in charge? The mobile Réponse. units were selected from the commune level. Les unités itinérantes étaient sélectionnées au First, niveau uh, in, in that regard, uh, for logistics, uh, including food and clothing, they were supplied by the respective uh, communes. Vestimentation, uh, and my role at the work site was to uh, take consultation with the mobile unit chiefs at the actual work sites on the uh, progress of the work and on the work plan. So, can you explain the chain of command for the mobile units? You said that there were people in charge of the mobile units. Who did they report to? au niveau des unités mobiles. À qui faisait rapport ces responsables At that time, uh, in regard to the reporting regime, it was very difficult to, 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 to say Sometimes when I was called, or when we were called by the district committee, that is the Sing and the Chan, then the mobile unit chiefs and myself would go to, to meet them. So you would go and meet with the members of the district committee about these work assignments, is that right? The mobile unit chiefs and I, and when I refer to the mobile unit chiefs, I refer to the mobile unit chief, the youth mobile unit chief, and the female female mobile unit chief. Each of us would go and meet with. The district committee. Nous allions tous rencontrer les membres du comité du district. Now you talked about Question. being assigned by Tom Mock after the accusation of mischievous hands to lay bow. First of all, can you tell us what is Lebo? Is it a village? Is it a commune? Is it, or is it both of those? Lebo is a commune, and there is also a village called Lebo within the Lebo commune. Where did you live? Did you live in the village Lebo? I had a small house just uh, opposite the Liebo cooperative, and that location was uh, six, uh, six kilometers from the Takai provincial town.
Okay, you mentioned that your house was opposite the cooperative. Does that mean it was inside the village called Les Beaux or outside the village? It was inside the uh, Liebo village. Was the cooperative also called Liebo or did it have another name? The, the location was known as Liebo Cooperative. On parlait de la coopérative de Lebo. When you say use the word cooperative, Question. about how many people were in the cooperative the time you arrived in Lebo? Can you give us an estimate? Are we talking about hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands? Des milliers, des dizaines de milliers de personnes dans cette coopérative. I cannot recall Réponse. the exa uh, total number. Je ne me souviens pas du chiffre exact. The, was the cooperative Question. organized to do any particular work? La coopérative était elle If so, can you explain what kind of work? Accomplir des tâches particulières. Et si oui, pourriez-vous nous parler plus avant de ces tâches? The cooperative uh, engaged mainly in uh, rice farming. La coopérative s'occupait surtout de riziculture. And as I said, that's the main duty of the cooperative uh, to do, to engage in rice farming, and besides that, to engage in uh, plantation or in uh, building dams. Who was in command of the cooperative? Qui était à la tête de la coopérative? I cannot recall the name, Réponse, je ne me but as de for Libo Commune, Mais it was la Tacau. De Lebo, Tacau. 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 Okay, um, that leads to my next question. question. How did the cooperative suivant. chain of command work? The head of the Comment cooperative or the committee that headed the cooperative, did they report the to the commune the level, to the district level? You, how did that work? A cooperative would report to the uh, commune. La coopérative faisait rapport à la commune. And subsequently, uh, suite, that commune uh, would report uh, to the la district. La commune faisait elle-même rapport au district. What was the distance from Question. your house to the à district office for District 105 for Trump Cup? Coopérative du bureau du district 105 de Trump Cup. Liebo was located, Liebo Cooperative was located to the west of uh, National Road. And my house itself was located to the south, that is the south of the cooperative, and also along the National Road number 5. It was just on the other side of the uh, National Road. And from my house to the cooperative, it was about 50. Uh, meters, Il est environ 50 meters, and the distance from my house to uh, Tramco office, which was located in Angroca, was about uh, 15 kilometers, because from my house to Antasam, it was about six kilometers, and from Antasam to the district office, it was about nine kilometers. Was the district office in a former pagoda at Angroca?
the district office was located at the currently uh, Angroca uh, market. Uh, it was to located to the west of uh, Angroca pagoda. pagoda. Was the pagoda still being used as a pagoda? La pagoda était toujours uh, utilisée en tant que pagode. It is still a pagoda. Thank you. During the Khmer Rouge time, are you saying it was used as a pagoda then? Were in, sir, when you were in Tram Kak, when you were transferred to Lebo, was the Angroka pagoda being used for Buddhist worship? Était-elle utilisée pour le culte bouddhique? No, it was not. Réponse: Non. Is it true that Question. there was no pagodas in Tramcock district? That they all were used for other purposes, shut down Car during the Khmer Rouge time. Ou étaient utilisés à d'autres fins sous le régime des Khmer Rouge. There were no pagodas Réponse. and there were uh, no mans. But I did not know for sure as uh, for what purpose other pagodas have been used during the Khmer Rouge. What about that one? Question. It was used as a prison, isn't that correct? Angroka. I did not know. Sir, what was the distance Question. from Lebo to Krangtachan? Even Réponse. today, I don't even know which commune Krangtachan is located in. Sir, your brother disappeared during the Khmer Rouge regime, correct? My elder brother, who left Phnom Penh to go to a Kothom district, and I met him once. Later on, he disappeared and have not seen him since, and I only met his wife. Did his wife tell you what happened to him? What happened to him, your brother? Que s'est-il passé? Que lui est-il arrivé à votre frère? I did not know. Réponse: Je ne le savais pas. Because we lived far away from one another, as she lived in Gautam district, and I, li I lived in Takai province. Had your brother served in the Lon Nol army? I lived uh, at a far distance from my elder brother. My elder brother lived in Kothom district while I lived in Takayo province. My question, sir, was did he serve in the Lon Nol army? Do you know? Yes or no? I did not know. 
because he was in Phnom Penh while I was uh, living at the zone under the uh, Democratic Cambodia regime uh, control. Rest than the time is appropriate for a lunch break. Oh, do you have uh, one last question, uh, Mr. International Co-Prosecutor? Thank you, Your Honor. Just one question. You told us about the death of your brother. Can you tell us, do you know other people that disappeared during the Khmer Rouge period in Tram Kok district when you lived there in Lebo? I did not know. President, time is convenient for a lunch break. We will take a break now and we will resume at 1.30 in the afternoon. And court officer, please assist the witness during this lunch break and invite him back into the car room, including his duty counsel, at 1.30 this afternoon. And security guard, you instructed you to take a kill some pawn into the waiting room and have him return to the car room before 1.30. The court is now in recess.